Now, don't get me wrong, there are lots of really ridiculously bad appeals to science. Overly or greedily reductive, they can be totally misinformed, or they can just be flat-out rhetorical appeals to the general cultural kudos of science. You know, the kind of breathless discovery channel, ooh, the universe, ooh, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, that's all a load of crap. And I suppose if you wanted to think of a, a, an epithet for that, scientism would do the trick. The problem is, of course, that as soon as that epithet it becomes common currency, it's open to abuse. Any partially functional think box with a larynx hanging off it can basically use it to defend their beautiful picture from those pesky and unfortunate scientific facts. It's almost like a product, science be gone, for all your hypocritical and conceited needs. One spray of science be gone, and you can believe whatever you want to believe, and commit genocide and slaughter and mayhem like conceited hypocrites with beautiful ideas have for, well, thousands of years. But I think the problem is we've reached the point now where the abuse of the term is actually more prevalent than the correct identification of bad science. And that kind of raises an issue as to why you use the term at all. Because if the rhetorical appeal to the social status of science or the misunderstanding of findings or overly reductive, overly ambitious accounts of what science tells us are unscientific then who's better qualified to root that out than either scientists or, like me, philosophers of science? Which is great, because it means I've still got a job. But seriously, though, there is something of the conspiracy theory in the suggestion that scientists can't be trusted to spot bad science, as if they're all in on it or something. But there is some kind of suggestion of paranoid speculation in the claim that we need a specialised term for all of these errors. The term scientism. Why not call bad science what it is? Bad science. So say somebody speculates about a psychological sex difference in terms of sexual diamorphism. Why not just say, hey, that's bad science, and then go on to describe how it falls short of the standards of good science? You know, rather than pairing up with truth disrespectors and making a bit of a paranoid-sounding tit of oneself. So is it time to phase out use of the word scientism? What do you think? Thank you for listening.